We always like to party with our patrons, but no, we're not at Augusta. We are at Casino Square, where our most dedicated members from Patreon get to compete in two friendly races on an actual Marbula One circuit. Raldo is also in the crowd for this first round. Of course, next week, we'll have race two in reverse grid positions, and the aggregate results will give us the patron winner. For today, though, Casino Square, nearly 14 and a half meters in length, nine laps will be this Grand Prix. Around a 30-second lap time is what we are expecting. But who knows? If you play your cards right, things might go in a different direction. On the timing clock, hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. There you see the marbles representing our Patreon participants. If your marble is out there, will them on. If you're not, well, check out our Patreon to find out how you can be. Also, pick your favorite. Dana and Carrie are on the front row. Sirik, Dennis, come in in row two. Melissa and Coup de Greg, appreciate that one. Back in the third row. Yuri and Aiden. Hyrax Nixus and Christopher, back in ninth and tenth. Roberto and Brody. Cisa and Brian. Kalen NRN and Eric. Comics Kid and Joost. And on the back row, Gretchen and Joshua. They'll have their work cut out for them on a circuit that usually throws up some rather dramatic results. Lights are on. And the patrons are rolling. What a move there to shoot around the outside. Siri takes the lead. Kuda Greg also a nice starter there, challenging for second place. I believe Dana got back up into that top spot, yes, and holds P1 as they disappear to the far double right-hander. You see those marbles bouncing off the inside apex. Comics Kid back there did not, and may have made up a few spots because of it. Down the drop for the first time, Dana holding that outside line. Melissa going high up on the curbs, and it's neck and neck across the line for the first of nine scheduled laps here at Casino Square. Dana will get the first launch, and perhaps the better one over Koo. Siri back in third. Melissa, Sirik, Kalen, Roberto, Yuri, Christopher, Gretchen, round out the top 10. Now we start to see some separation coming. Siri was eyeing up a move, trying to get third place there. Almost did the under, but had to hold off. Down this backstretch where so much time can be gained, and Dana is absolutely mastering it right now. Holding station through there, but look at these battles among the top five, even the top ten, I would say. It is very close between several of these marbles. Going to the inside there, I think Siri made a move. Dana's lead is a large one. Siri in third spot. Who's that drafting by? Was that Yust? Up into tenth. Top two, the gap is coming down. Up into the third spot there, Siri briefly took a look and is now falling back. So is Siri. Siri's back down into fifth. Across the line, the top three, the top five, separated by about less than a second. Off Dana goes, slightly different line from Coup de Greg. Looks to the inside now, and is right on our leader. Goes to the inside at the split. The two marbles back behind, they do the same. Now a challenge. Down to the inside. Who has lost that spot, Melissa up into second. Gretchen in fourth, Kalen. Oh, battle for the lead, contact down the backstretch. Wow, really took that chicane well. Melissa takes P1. Dana took the normal line and Melissa just split right through it. That was superb to lead this Grand Prix. Over the attenuator they go. Dana eyeing up another challenge. Can't get it done there. What about down the backstretch after the drop? The three marble battle there, Kalen, Yuri, Comics Kid, who's really come up from the back of the field. No, these two will hold lockstep for now. Oh, Joshua Davenport is out of the race. Yellow flag at turn 12. Don, I think Kalen may have had a helping hand in that one by the sound of it. 
They're going to investigate that incident. We'll have to see what the stewards decide. Meanwhile, Melissa, Dana, and Ku are leading the way, the three, only separated by a couple of lengths. We've had drama so far at the front in this one and drama in the midfield. Oh, that was great speed by Dana, but could not get that one done. Just a couple of laps to go. Outside of the top three, it's Sirik, Kalen, Siri, Comics Kid, Gretchen, Yuri, and Roberto. Rounding up the top ten around the outside goes Ku de Greg. Saving the move for when it matters here on lap number seven. Inside, Dana parries right back. Who loses a spot there? Melissa, opportunistic, and is now trying to lay down a block but can't get it done. Weaving back and forth, Ku goes up ahead in the second place. Two to go. Bit of a split there. As we see Comics Kid now up into fifth spot. Again, that marble was down and almost dead last at the beginning of this Grand Prix. And Kalen has been assessed a five second penalty for fault in the collision with Joshua. Naughty, naughty. Comics Kid in fifth in front of Kalen for now, but Kalen will be dropping. So Gretchen used some of the others, will get a boost. Was that a move up into fourth? Oh, several marbles really hitting those walls hard. On to the final lap we go. Dana is in the lead in front of Melissa and Sarek. Ku and then Comics Kid. Is anybody going to challenge for that top spot? Oh, there's some great swashbuckling in this midfield. Here they come around the hairpin. Meanwhile, the leaders are just about to the drop. Down the back stretch for the final time. Dennis in 19th, Hyrax, Brody, Siri also back there. Dana will come around the final turn and win the first of two races here at Casino Square. Melissa comes second, Sarek third, Comics Kid up to fourth. Kalen for now in fifth. Yuri Gretchen, who finishes eighth after a nice lunge to the lead, but couldn't carry it all the way to the finish. Look at how tight that field is as they come into those opening few turns. That first sector was tight at the start. Of course, these marbles, not professional Marbula One athletes, but you wouldn't know it by some of these racing moves that they lay down. There's the incident where Joshua left the track. Nice bird's eye view there. A little extra shove going up on those curbs. We saw marbles climb those curbs often. That was a bit poor timing, and after quite a bit of analysis from JMA, they looked at all of the data that they had. They found maybe there was a little extra there than just a mere collision. That was the brief lead for Ku. Handled that backstretch very well, by the way, but so did Dana. Fending off everybody around the final turn. Dana starts on pole and finishes in first. Melissa up three. How about Comics Kid up 13? But shout out to Gretchen. 14 spots gained after starting dead last. That was a very quiet race for that marble, but it worked very well at the end. Eust was up 10. 13 drop down there by Carey, and a 15 place drop by Dennis. Joshua, of course, did not finish. Now, this is the first race of two, so there's still quite a bit to play for in the second Grand Prix. It's aggregate results that will determine our patron champion. If you want to be in the next round of a future iteration, perhaps, of this event, make sure to check out both our YouTube membership options and our Patreon to see what perks you can get and be even closer to the action here in Yellow's Marble Runs. Especially as we get ready for the upcoming seasons, we hope that you will be joining us regardless. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you for race number two.